Hi all, and Nick Morell here from Nick Morell Abstracts. And tonight, I'm just going to show you a quick. I'm just going to play with a lot of different colours tonight. I'm just going to do a Mars black background um, all over. And this is a 20 by 16 canvas, quite a small one. Um, people have been asking for this one again. Um, just slightly different. I've done a bigger version, a 20 by a 40 by 20, um, with a black background, swiped, and then we've done a second swipe with some reds and blues and some golds, and just try and um, play with that. And um, we'll see how that goes. Um, products using tonight. So we're gonna have a little bit of 41 in my swipe, the opaque, this is a PBOs. Some 351. Okay, so these are gonna be in the first swipe, which I'm gonna do with uh, um, some, some, toy, um, some kitchen roll. And then I'm gonna use my tools with the second swipe. Um, we've got the 355, the iridescent copper, which is I tend to use for my browns in the first swipe. Uh, a tiny bit of gold. Tonight we've got the Deco Arts Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. Really bright gold, this one. Again, there you go, the Mars Black. It'll be the 26 Mars Black, um, which we're going to do the base first. A um, little bit of pearl white as well. And that's the Dale Rowney. Um, pearl white, like that one. Um, the red will be the five, um, five three, Pebo again. The Candeman red, again really vibrant red. This one, all high velocities, run really well. And my old favourite, the Daryl Aroni um, Ultramarine blue. Use this one a lot. A real electric blue, and we're going to give that a bash. Uh, all mixed with Liquidex Pour Medium on a 50-50, one-to-one basis. So it's always one-to-one, -one, the poor and medium. Um, that way you just don't get no cracking. Just a perfect finish every time, one-to-one. -one. Quite expensive, but it works. Right, I'm gonna have a quick tidy up now before we get going. I just wanna show you the paints there. And again, this first bit will be quite a boring bit getting the black so obviously please fast forward if you want but up to quite a runny cons uh, sort of warm honey consistency with with these swipes these um so it's going to be a bit of a reflection swipe um and so we just get all the black in first So this is a boring bit. Hopefully we've got enough black there. So again, just something a bit different. The reflection swipe, which I've renamed mine now. So if you've not watched the ladies in America, that's Kathleen Osmore and Courtney Holschner. Two very, very talented ladies, especially in this sort of style of swipes. They're probably the best I've seen doing it. But we'll give it a go. And again, just um, spread out as best you can. I find these tools quite good. It was just a car um, squeegee, about this long, cut it in half. It's something you dry the car off, take the excess water off. Gets the paint around really easy. And you're gonna move this as well anyway. But say any car Car spares, the Halfords, um, sell these. Really good, I found these are excellent for getting the paint around really quickly. So you can use your palette knife. 
but say just get it round roughly. So this is a boring bit. If you want to fast forward, please do so. So that's roughly even-ish round. And then now, obviously, as I said before, we're just going to move, walk that round and try and get a bit more even spread out smoothly. So we are going to be ghost and um, reflection swiping through this. So this is the boring bit. Just about enough black on this. Could have done with probably a little bit more. Then it will eventually come. As you can probably see, all taped up underneath my canvases. more professional even if you're not framing them looks nice and neat underneath it's one of my pet hates is the the messy underneath a canvas it is a messy art form so just try and get that as even as you can it's all coming together now So just try, don't rush this. So I have prepped these up before, but I just thought I'd just show you again the method I use. So that's squidgy. Um, the car, takes off the excess water on the car, is, is excellent for just evening your paint around quickly. But even with that, you're still going to get lines and marks. So it's best just to move it around as best you can. I say you've got lots of access paint there, so if you've got any bits you need to touch up. So we are going to be swiping through this, so we will pick up areas. Let's say plenty on the sides. Make sure you get them covered. So as you've probably seen, I frame pretty much all my work, so I'm never, never really too concerned about the edges. But obviously for the purposes of this video, I will make sure it's all covered for you. Again, just use your gloves and just black covers really easy but you can touch up once you're finished as well that's pretty much a nice there's bubbles on there which I shall torch just to get rid of them That's the messy part, the real messy part of that. You can't help but be messy on that. And so just a few bubbles here. So just get rid of them with a torch. Again, with the swiping through them you'd, you'd pop them anyway but I just like to make sure that way's done and there you go you can see it's quite smooth even so it hasn't got to be 100% perfect 
because obviously we're going to add a line of colour now and pull through. But there, that's your Mars Black background with a 50-50 mix of Liquitex. And it's, you can see how shiny it is. It makes all the difference with a 50-50 mix. It really dry, does dry nice and glossy and obviously makes your and then when you varnish half your job's done. Just put a bit of a bubble on there with that what? So we just cover that. Right, so we've got the colours mixed up now. Clean that tool down. Say so, I would definitely recommend buying one of these Obviously that's the size of them when they're together and that's to take excess water off. So I got this from Halfords and I just cut it in half, uh, makes it easier. Now we're going to put a line roughly halfway through for the first, for your first swipe. I've got my colours mixed up. And I've got them in little shot glasses, which makes it easier to pour. So, about halfway across, and just run them off first. I'm going in with my copper. So this makes it so easy to pour with the little ones. Some silver. That's your silver. Some gold, 24 karat gold. And with some pearlescent white over the top of that. And then repeat under this, obviously we're gonna swipe, try and swipe from that copper. So some silver. Followed by some gold. Really quite a vibrant gold, this one. And polar some white. Maybe just add a little bit more copper in there, sunk some of that. And that's all we need now for the first swipe. And you've seen me use this before. The kitchen roll. So Courtney Holschner, she is the master at this. Does this makes it look so easy. And it's quite a, I'll cut this down in half sizes and we just spray water on the bottom half that way it picks up the paint and sucks the paint up better so we just wet the bottom and then we lay it in we want to lay I'm trying to lay it in on that copper line pick some of that copper up that's perfect and then we swipe through so not too fast and I'll just pull it up towards the edges so it gets lighter lighter on the edges I'm going to take a fresh piece this time and again you're just trying to lay it on that line there take a bit of the copper up so let it suck the paint you can see when it's ready and pull through Good. Just might go through that again. That's nice. Left a bit more black there, which is really, really nice. Let's take some more tissues. You can see the um, the coppers coming through. And 
then drag through. And then I just start to lift as I get towards the edge. And that way I get more of a ghosting on the edge. Same again. That's perfect. We've got more dark on the top, light on the bottom, which is what I'm looking for. I'm just pulling lighter on the bottom to try and create a more of a ghost. So I'm pulling heavier coming through on the top and I'm trying to be lighter on the bottom. That way you can control the effect um, roughly. So I've laid the paint in. You can see let it suck. Now I'm going a bit heavier on the top. Now I'm coming up. Now I'm coming up. And that's where you get that effect. And now the bottom one. And just try and lay it in. A bit lighter through the bottom. It's perfect. Discard all your tissues. As you can see, we've got darker, lots of more copper coming through the top with a lighter effect through. It's natural selling up here. Now we're going to go on to the second part now and so you just could leave it like that and that would sell up lovely and make a stunning piece i'm just going to try and add some different colors through i'm going to use a swiping tool so this is the cardamom red and again just try and go halfway And that's your red. With your blue. I'm just trying to mix this across. I want a bit of each. And with some more gold. Again, I'm just going to try and zigzag this in. I want to pick up a bit of each when I'm going through, make a different effect. So that's your three colours. You've got 24 karat gold, your red, and your blue. And I've got some little swiping tools here. Just a plastic quite a thin plastic, different sizes and quite thin. So we're just going to go with different effects. Might go with this sort of size. So lightly in. And just pull it away. And this will all fade out. You need to wipe your tools down quite a lot. You can go with a smaller one as well and just try and create different effects. And pull up. So I've got lots of tissue here to so wipe down. I'm going to go in with a smaller one again. you can create some st stunning effects with the golds and the reds coming through so it's all going to sell up differently um, when it's finished but you can see we just want to pull some of that into different areas and go through with this once 
and we can play with this um, again. So nice and light on the tool. And just bring some lovely colours into it. And say wipe your tool down after every go. And again, nice and light on the tool. So I'm going to a big one, small one, um, different effects. So all the blues and the reds are coming through. Again, clean your tool down every time. So nice and light on the tool. So nice and light on the tool. And just play with this as much as you want until you're happy. So you wipe your tool down. Some nice blues coming through that one. So I've done the massive one of this, the 40 by 20. And once it all dried up, people were saying they could see the Last Supper in this one. Um, I don't know if you see that one on my on my posts. So it was Da Vinci Last Supper. They thought they could see with all the effects. So nice and light on your tool again. And just swipe it through. A little bit on the edge, we're gonna to have to just play with. So you can just create some stunning effects there coming through. see that with the coppers and the different effects so this is all going to move in and sell in um, you'll, you'll, you'll lose the lines but hopefully you'll still create some of these so the blues and the golds a bit of red makes a really special piece really like these colors so quite bold colors So we'll talk to that in a minute, but you can see it's all naturally, you can see it's naturally selling up. But we've got a more of a, as I wanted, the more of the browns, the coppers coming through the top. And we've got more of the silvers um, coming down the bottom. It creates a nice reflection. Got some stunning effects through here. With the golds, the 24 karat gold. So you don't need too much of that one. That's quite a vibrant gold, that one. Nice effects. So sometimes you can, if you want to emphasize the line a bit more through the middle, you can put a line in. And that way I'll just literally go in with your tool with a bit of Mars black. Just emphasizes the reflection a bit more. And that's just literally, I just get a spare bit of paint and I dab it in on the edge. And just to create that. And so you can add, if you want some more golds or more blues, 
you can keep adding. But sometimes it's just I let it like to let it develop. It makes a really interesting piece. So these are all going to move in different areas. Hopefully this ghosting will stay the same here, but this area where there's more paint will tend to move and merge into each other and naturally sell up. We'll lace up no oils in any of these paints at all. I never use any oils at all in my um, reflection pours. I don't even think um, Kathleen or Courtney, I'm not sure they, Courtney definitely doesn't use any oils in her work. Um, nor does Kathleen, I, think, I don't think Kathleen Kathleen used much oil. In the dirty pores, and I tend to use, in the dirty pores, I use oil in that to get the big cells and the effect. Um, with the tree wing pores, and this um, reflection pores, swipes, I don't think you really need to use any oil at all, silicon oil. It's the treadmill silicon oil that I tend to use, which is the best. I don't know if you can see that. Some of them reds and blues coming through now. Um, just makes a really interesting feature through the middle. So that gold, um, the 24 karat gold is, deco art is quite stunning. But see, that could be overpowering if you use too much of that. It's a really metallic-y, real good gold fleck in that. And say so, um, we've got quite a lot of metallics in this, apart from the Mars black, but the pearlescent white, um, the blues non-metallic, um, the reds of sort of diner has got a bit of flash in it. The um, the red, the Pebo red, the silvers obviously the pearlescent white, and the colour I would really the colour if you're going to get any colour, this colour is my favourite colour at the moment. There's three. Five, five, and that is the iridescent copper metallic and that is just amazing so if you want your browns the metallic -y brown that's the one to go for as you can see it just creates a really really stunning piece and so that was created by obviously the kitchen roll and just a little swipes through just to make a bit of difference in the middle um, you get more of an even with a kitchen roll, but if you want some different effects, I've seen Kathleen, she goes in with a, a popsicle stick, a mixing stick, and she will emphasize areas. I mean, she's very, very clever at that. I haven't really um, been brave enough to go with that. I have had a couple of goes, but I've literally ruined the painting. Um, so I just tend to, simple, more is more, less is more sometimes, that's what I think. Sometimes you can just do less. Um, we're just gonna have a quick torch through that now. See if we can get anything else happening. So this will just get some really natural cells. So there you go, give that a bash. And say so I will do a larger one with this same effect. Um, just had a couple of messages today. If someone could show me the, what, the two swipe, the two swipe reflection pour, and they keep calling it ghost pours. I'm not calling it ghost pours anymore. Um, mine be called a reflection pours. There's a bit of controversy on the, on the pages about that. The ghost pour. But say um, Courtney Holster, she is the she is the king at that, and Kathleen Osmore, they're the ones to watch. Mine are pretty poor compared to theirs, but I hope you like them. And so I put the picture up, and this is dries, but give that a bash. That creates some stunning effects. And this will, say, this will change up, as you can see now, it's already changing. With the different effects. So the more coppers on the top, lighter down the bottom. And that was the two swipe with the golds and reds through. 
Okay, so hope you like that. I'll give you a little bit of a close up. And there, you can see. The reds, the blues. Quite stunning. Just creates a different effect through the middle. I say once this is dried up and glossed up. Very interesting. Okay, until next time, say please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you'll be first to see the new videos. And that's Nick Moreau Abstracts on YouTube. Or find me on Facebook. I'm on quite a few groups there. So any questions you need to ask, um, I'm happy to help. It's a way to learn by picking up, watching videos, I've done the same. And we'll call that one finished. I'll say, oh, it's going to change all the time. And we'll catch you next time.